Hey all you viewers to be named later, how are we doing today? I know, we got something by CRKT here on the channel. We never do them, do we? Ever. Today we're going to take a look at the Overland, but you already know that by the thumbnail and everything else you clicked on. Now with everything else with CRKT, they come a little bit of propaganda, and seriously, I just filmed a video and that was like the same one. So okay, but today we are going to take a look, like I said, at the Overland. Now, I've been seeing a lot of these blades from CRKT where it has the green OD scale and the orange anodized pivot ring with the orange anodized backspacer. I really like the way that looks, so when I saw this, I went, <gasps> gimme. It is a TJ Schwartz design, and he does really, really good work. Now, what I like about this is the way they put it as when you're holding it, it's designed to try to keep the blade as flat as possible when you're doing your slicing. So I thought that was neat. You know, it's if you're using it for like camp kitchen work, it's gonna be easier to go through. Uh, just pulling it right through, your blade should maintain the same thing. So, I, okay, come to the channel. Mine came with one small problem that I will show you in a little bit. But still, let's get into the stats and everything else like we usually do. Now, it's got an overall length of about 7.375 inches. The blade is about a flat three, and closed it's about 4.375. It has a somewhat minor weight to it of 3.6 ounces. Now, as you can see, it is done in the Warncliffe style with a plain edge and a flat grind. This is what I loved, and I had to have it. Black stonewash finish. Oh, my God, I love that finish. I really do. It's like my all-time favorite. Black stonewash, stonewash, then satin, hands down. <sighs> All right, getting off track. It's got a black stonewashed stainless steel frame with a frame lock. I'll get there in a moment. Like I said, we've got a OD Green G10 scale with the orange pivot rings, the orange anodized pivot rings, and the backspacer, which, like I said, was just awesome. Only one way to carry this guy, it is right-hand carry, tip up. Now, it does have a dual thumb stud open. This is where my problem happens. Now, uh, with frame locks, I've never really had this happen before. It's usually flush with the blade. I can seriously catch my finger right there. So I don't know if that's causing problems opening it, because I can't really, without a lot of force, get it open using the thumb studs. I seriously have to pull it up and out. See, like, maybe I'm stupid. Never really experienced that before. I'm feeling it there too, but still, that's another one I just reviewed. But like I said, this one had just given me fits getting her open. Maybe I just need to break it in a little bit more, loosen the pivot screw, not too sure. But moving on, we do have a lanyard hole, and yes, it is made in China. All right. Now, let's get on those cut tests like we usually love to do. We do three here. If you're curious why I do these three, take a look right up there. You can see a card for why I do those cut tests. Of course, I say I've never really experienced it before, and I didn't even realize it on the last blade I did. <gasps> Idiot. Talking to myself, not you guys. All right, heavy duty stock paper. Ooh, listen to that sound. All right, let's try to get a curly cue. Nah, I bit in too deep. Okay, the big reason why I try to get a curly cue is anybody can come across and just go sharp. But if you take that blade and you drag it really slow across your paper and maintain that angle, you should get something just like that. That paper should end up curling back into itself. That way it's going to show you there's no pits, chips, micro abrasions, any of that fun stuff. Like I usually like to check, there is a little bit of snowfall, but not that much. All right, let's get this over with. The struggle test. Oh, how I hate this batch of paracord. I seriously, truly do. Pull test. <laughs> nope. So, yeah. Six years of doing reviews. I've never had a problem with paracord until this batch. Oh, dear Lord, baby Jesus. Slice test, no problem. And of course, what you guys truly want to see, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Oh, 
right through, no problem. You know what? I think it's a joke. Seriously, leave me a comment down below. The funniest guy who leaves me that comment, I will follow it up in a future video. You're going to receive a piece of Mr. Ratchet strap. <coughs> I've been joking about doing this for a while. Seriously, this is how you enter. Leave a comment right down below, and I'll send you a piece of Mr. Ratchet strap. I've been in the mood to have a little bit of fun after all those miserable little freaking struggle tests. But still. Alright. Nothing really bad on the blade. So there we go. Now, I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on 8-5-2022. And it's 8-6-2022 when I'm filming the video. I found it on Amazon Blade HQ and CRKT. And for the first time ever, it's the same price all the way across the board. $54.99. Hasn't been reviewed on Blade HQ or CRKT, but it has been reviewed 31 times on Amazon for a 4.4 .4 out of 5 star rating. Now we're at the best part of the video to me. I want to know your <gasps> questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, everything right down below. Do you think it's a nice or an F-bomb? Nice or an F-bomb? Seriously, guys. Leave me a pretty cool comment. That is your entry to win that piece of Mr. Ratchet Strap. I know if you don't want it, it's cool. I just figured I'd do something funny, give you a bit of the channel history. But moving on. Whoo! For you first time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. <coughs> Look, I know we do things a little bit differently here on the channel. No COVID, just fat boy allergies. And I'm very, very grateful for you watching. Matter of fact, for everyone watching this video, if you got to this point, if you like what you saw, had a good laugh at my expense, hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to help trigger those analytics and help out the channel. Absolutely free for you. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why not? What can I do to earn your subscription? Please leave me a comment right down below and let's see how you can change, of course, the history of this channel. Now, after all, you've done all that fun stuff, and seriously, I know I'm asking a lot, but it's all free. Can I ask you a little bit more? <laughs> Take a look right down there in that corner. You're going to see a big old channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and beat that up, if you so choose, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that'll let you, that will let YouTube notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. And yes, I do a lot of videos. I do make a lot of mistakes. And we do have a lot of fun here on the channel. But still. Now, after all that's done, in just a moment or two, you're going to see two, that's right, two, count them, two videos popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to pull from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a really, really good viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys, my quick tabletop look at the CRKT Overland. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see all all of you in my very next video.